Hey, great friends. How y'all doing? Hey, y'all. This is gonna be a um, different video. Yeah, it's not gonna be the normal, you know, vlog. Uh, I want to just talk about everything that's going on in Louisiana, and more specifically in Baton Rouge. Um, I, Trinise texted me, and she called me, and she was telling me about what's going on. Cause I haven't been in a loop of everything, cause I don't watch the news and. Um, I talked to my dad, but he was just saying it's been raining a lot. So I just found it really weird how you know, they're going through so much devastation in Baton Rouge. I mean, Baton Rouge has been always like a, a safety spot for New Orleans. Because New Orleans is a bowl. You know, it always fills up with water just like it did in Katrina. And now Baton Rouge and all the residents, my mom, my sisters out there, my nephews, all of them are being super, like, going through it. Yeah, it's very rough on them. Um, they're going through a lot. My mom, she hasn't been to her house in, what, two, three days, I think. And um, cars, you know, a lot of property is lost. And I'm just getting flashbacks of Katrina all over again. Except it's not New Orleans. New Orleans is safe because my dad and Trinice are there and my friend they all there, and they're fine. So it's it's really tough because when Katrina happened, I was out here in Arizona too. Then I'm going to college, and it's like it's happening all over again. And they said the rain is not letting up down there. My mom sent me pictures of in front of her house, and it's like all the way up to her door. That house is raised. I know that's that's and, um, crazy. And like there's some churches that are just complete, all you can see is the roof and some yeah. houses are completely underwater. Um, there have been, um, I have a friend of mine that's affected by it as well. And um, yeah, it's just been really hard, um, especially on, on Jerry today. So he's just, we've both just been praying nonstop. Um, yeah, because that's all we could do. We feel super vulnerable, even Trinise. She feels vulnerable because they shut off the freeway to get to Baton Rouge, which is like the I-10, blocked it off. Uh, they said the people in Baton Rouge are not allowed to drive or go anywhere. So they have barricaded streets and it's like, there's a lot of weird stuff going on that I, I don't necessarily think is like of God. I think it's a lot of shady stuff going on. But I just try to talk to my mom and not talk negative or have a focus on, you know, all the craziness. Just try to have, you know, give us some hope and tell her I'm praying for her. She said, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I hope that while I was watching, you just, just say a prayer, just, cause prayer works, you know, use your words, um, use your comments and put out good vibes and everybody will be okay down there. My heart goes out to all the residents out there you know, my family and all the, all those affected. Because, uh, I don't know, that puts life in, life in perspective. You don't wanna go through having to be inconvenienced, you lose all your possessions and you have to start all over. You know, that takes a strong, strong person to have to go through such like trauma, that's trauma. Like devastation, natural disasters and- Yeah, I was in New Orleans when <clears throat> Katrina happened. And, well, I evacuated, but I was displaced for a good six months but um yeah it's it's been a lot of uh back and forth jerry's been you know keeping updated with his sister uh, trinice has yeah, yeah trinice has been a, a, a huge help with letting me know what's going on because your mom's phone like you can't even reach her right now it said at and yeah. ties are out they won't let people call so it's a whole bunch of stuff and and the great thing is uh yesterday uh, my mom had to get picked up by a boat from her house. So a boat had to go get my mom and my sisters and take them to safety. So we didn't know where they took them. You know, they taught, they taking them, dropping them off at, you know, random locations. It was pitch black when they took them. Uh, they was using cell phone, like she said. I was like, mom, did you like hear any explosions or any booms or anything like weird? Because that's a lot of water. In Baton Rouge, I've never seen it flood like that. But 
I mean, I appreciate it. I also wanted to add, I saw a lot of you guys on Twitter like, hey, I hope our, you, your families are okay. Uh, my family lives in New Orleans, so it's further down. Um, so they were not affected by this. Uh, but, I mean, it, it is flooded everywhere, but mainly in Baton Rouge. That's so, so. weird. Yo, I want y'all to look at a map. Y'all just figured out. I don't know. Because New Orleans is very south, like, closer to the water. It's below sea level. Baton Rouge is not. It's northwest up from New Orleans, an hour away, so like 72 miles, and they're flooded, and New Orleans isn't flooded. But my heart goes out because like, I hate, you know, hearing about all the updates. I appreciate all the updates from my sister because that's the best source, you know, it's not television, not the news. So, Trinice has been sending me pictures uh, telling me that she heard from my mom and she couldn't hear from her. She, she didn't have a phone for like a few hours. And um, she said she's been down and, you know, it's been getting to her a little bit, but I know my mom is super strong, along with my sisters. Um, and just, I don't know, all this stuff is coming back up for Trinice and all the people that went through Katrina, like, you know, yourself. You know, I wasn't even there with Katrina, but I feel like my family was going through it, so I went through it. Because I don't want to hear about anybody that I love or care about suffering. So, all I could do is pray for him. Then God's hands. You know, I know he's taking care of him because I'm too far away, I can't do anything. Even if I was there, Trinice, she can't even do anything. She can't even drive to go see where they are, help them. So, they're going from friend's house to friend's house in different random cities. Staying with them, showering, sleeping on the couches. That's what's going on right now with my family out there. Yeah, y'all, so we thought we'd share with you guys because we weren't even like, I mean, we haven't been doing anything but like praying and just Jerry's been, um, getting updates. yeah, getting updates. And that's really about it. And um, again, we appreciate y'all's love, support, your tweets, um, you know, our families, yeah. Uh, both families are okay though. They're in good they're hands alive. and they, they're, they're well. well. And yeah, just say a prayer for Louisiana, you guys.